Secret Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Agent Z for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent Z reporting for duty. Agent Z, I have just talked by long-distance telephone with an officer whom I knew very well during the World War. He now holds an important position in the Army. Recently, military and diplomatic secrets of great value have been stolen. It is suspected they were taken from his office. I want you and Miss Norwood to go to him at once. Here are your written instructions and a report of what has happened to date. You will fly to his post tonight. Keep me informed. Agent Z and Pat arrived at their destination late the following afternoon. That evening, they dined with the officer whom they'd come to help and his young woman companion. As they finished their dinner, Agent Z brought up the business he and Pat were there to discuss. Colonel, I wonder if perhaps it wouldn't be best if we left the ladies and stepped out onto the porch. I'd like to get as much information from you as possible tonight. There is no need for us leaving the table, Agent Z. I'm sure Miss Norwood knows why you are here. Well, of course. Pat's my assistant. Then may I tell you that within a month, uh, Miss Rotha will be my wife. Oh. She knows only too well what is troubling me. Let me offer you both my best wishes. Thank you. As Paul says, I know about this terrible business. It's the only blot on our happiness. Renee is quite right. It is a blot, Agent Z. Uh, Miss Norwood, I'll explain briefly. Information has been leaking out of my office for several months. Mm -hmm. There is no doubt of it, because some of it was information only I possessed. Naturally, that puts my career under a cloud. Unless it is stopped. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to get to the bottom of the trouble, Colonel. Now, first, suppose you tell me how you are sure the spies would work. Two of his messages fell into the hands of our secret service. We have also had reports from our diplomatic representatives in other countries. Mm -hmm. There is no doubt of my facts, Agent Z. Has suspicion pointed to any particular person? No, that is why I contacted K-7. We have no idea whom to suspect or how they operate. I see. You say two messages fell into the hands of your secret service investigators. Now, where are those messages now? Both are locked in the safe in my office. But I want to see them. Uh, perhaps they'll give me a lead. But we cannot go to the offices tonight. Will not tomorrow be time enough? I am so tired. I am sure tomorrow... No, no, Colonel. I want to see them tonight. I suggest that you take Miss Rota home. Miss Norwood and I will meet you outside your office in an hour. Is it really necessary tonight? I'm sorry, Miss Rota, but it is. I believe in striking fast before the enemy knows I'm active. In one hour, Colonel... We'll start this case tonight. An hour later, Agent Z and Pat sat waiting in their car before a war department building. It's nearly 11 o'clock, Z. The colonel should be here. I'm sure he'll arrive in a few minutes. 
Uh, what did you think of his fiancée, Miss Rota? She's a lovely person. Mm -hmm. There's something sad about her eyes. I, I can't explain quite what I mean. Yes, I know. The colonel looks strained, too. I have no doubt that this business has put them under a blacker cloud than we realize. What do you mean, Jake? Well, the intelligence department has been investigating for several months. And they had discovered nothing. That might mean the colonel himself is under suspicion. If so, he'd be broken in rank, perhaps even caught martial. It'd be the end of his career and probably his romance. Then we've got to be successful, Z. Oh, here's the colonel now. He's coming up the street. Yes, well, we'll get out of the car and meet him. Oh, well, you recognized your coming, colonel. I'm sorry I'm late. Here, uh, we'll enter this side door. It opens directly into my office. Yeah. Isn't there a guard on duty? Well, oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I see him now. He's in the shadow. There is always a sentry on duty, particularly now when well conditions are so tense. Good evening, sir. Oh, good evening. Uh, here are my keys. I'll uh, put the light on. If there is any other information you want while we're here. Uh, no, no, just the two messages. Perhaps I'll recognize the code, or there'll be something else that'll give me a lead. Then I will open the safe. I suspected you would want to see these notes. Mm -hmm. I put them... Oh, what's the matter? It is impossible. Wait. The two messages are gone? Yes, I put them here last night. Both are gone. Stolen. A few minutes later, Agent Z left to talk with an officer of the Department of Intelligence. He arranged for the colonel to take Pat to her room, telling her he'd get in touch with her in the morning. It was after 1 a.m. when Pat unlocked her door. Put your hands over your head. Who, who are you? That is unimportant. Don't try to move or I will shoot. Take a gun. I'll tie her. Hurry. Pat had been seized. The next morning, Agent Z again talked with the colonel. Colonel, at what time did you drop Pat at her hotel? Why, it, it must have been about one o'clock. You saw her enter? Why, yes. She said goodbye to me and walked into the lobby. Has anything happened? My assistant has dis disappeared, Colonel. You were the last person to see her. Disappeared? Look here. I haven't said anything, Colonel. Certain information which you alone possessed has got into enemy hands. You alone knew that we were here in this city. You were the last one with Pat. But I sent for you, Agent Z. I was the one who telephoned K-7 and asked well, for Well, that help. trick has been tried before, Colonel. It's an excellent way to throw suspicion onto someone else. I'm sorry, but I'm going to ask you to come with me to the office of your intelligence department for questioning. And if I refuse? Two officers of that department are waiting outside your door. I suggest that you walk through the door and give yourself up to them. You, uh, you're making a mistake. I'll go, but you're wrong. I hope so, Colonel. Now, if you will open the door, I'm going to stay here. You're going to go through my desk. I'm sorry, Colonel. Are you ready to leave? Yes. Yes, I'll go. A moment later, as Agent Z carefully studied the papers from the colonel's desk, the door opened again. Uh, Miss Rota, what are you doing here? Agent Z, what has happened? Where are they taking Paul? I saw him with two men. Uh, your fiancé is under arrest, Miss Rota. Oh. oh. Here, here, take my arm. Sit down. You'll be all right in a minute. I, I am not going to faint. Uh, my back. Yes, you dropped it. Here, I'll pick it up for you. Hello, what's this? Pat's powder compact. Miss Rhoda, how did my assistant's compact get into your bag? Answer me. I, I must have forgotten to give it back to her. May I have some water? The cooler is there. Then I'll tell you everything. Is Miss Norwood all right? Yes, she is outside. She sent me in to see Paul. Please, let me have some water. Miss sir. Norwood is safe? I tell you, she is waiting outside. Water, please. You're ill. Here, wait. Thank you. Now, now tell me the whole story. You, you will have to get most of it from Miss Norwood. I will not be able to talk long. 
I took poison before I came here. Poison? Well, then you've got to get to a hospital. Oh, it is too late. You see, Agency, I am the spy. Last night, I sent my brother to see Miss Norwood. Somehow she got away from him, but not before she had recognized the family resemblance. She came directly to my rooms. We talked all night. This morning, I... Miss Rover. Oh, I can finish what I want to tell you. This morning, I agreed to give myself up. Miss Norwood drove me here. She does not know that I took poison. You see, agency, I love Paul. I have betrayed him. It is best that I leave him this way. But but I did want to say goodbye. Here, Pat. Pat, come in here. Pat. Pat, we've got to get her to a hospital. Nosy. No, it's too late. She's dead. of women spies may be judged by the reappearance in Washington of a framed wartime warning which reads, Beware of female spies. Women are being employed by the enemy to secure information on the theory that they are less liable to be suspected than male spies. Beware of inquisitive women as well as prying men. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. <laughs>